Uh, people seem content uh, to let uh, the issue of Yemen uh, and peace and democracy in Yemen uh, to be solved in back doors uh, by foreign states and their appointed delegates uh, purporting to represent uh, Yemenis and purporting to govern Yemenis. Our goal was to bring this discussion to Washington where so much of what our policymakers decide impacts the lives of Yemeni men, women, and children. Unfortunately, they do not have a vote and they do not have a say uh, in what our policymakers here in Washington decide. Uh, but our goal is at least to center the voices of Yemeni leaders and activists, so many uh, of whom you will hear from today, who have committed a good part of their lives to democracy and rights in Yemen. We have with us, as I mentioned, uh, Tawakkul Karman, uh, who really, uh, uh, it took her a minute uh, to agree uh, to uh, uh, partner with us in organizing this conference and has provided incredible resources and backing uh, to have it together. Um, it has uh, been a tremendous amount of work, as you can imagine, for an organization the size of Dawn, Democracy for the Arab World Now, which, as some of you know, was founded by the late, uh, our beloved friend, Jamal Khashoggi. Uh, and I should note that the chairman of our board, Nihad Awad, is here somewhere. I can't, uh, there he is. So thank you, Nihad, for, for coming and, and for your foresight and vision in helping create uh, this organization. But we are a tiny team, and uh, Abdallah Al-Ode, our Gulf director, really deserves heroic uh, uh, congratulations for the months and months of work uh, he has put into organizing this event and the tremendous amount of patience and grace um, that really uh, only he, I think, uh, uh, could have uh, carried out and carried forward to make this happen. Of course, all of the teams at Dawn, uh, uh, as well as the Tawakkul Karman Foundation and Georgetown University um, worked together uh, to bring you here today. Our speakers have prepared papers that we will publish and publicize as we continue our efforts to further discussion and debate about a Yemeni-led process to address the catastrophe in the country. When I first started working on Yemen, uh, well before the uprising, well before the revolution, it was because of Yemeni activists who came to my office in New York, at Human Rights Watch at the time, and said, you have to work on Yemen. Human Rights Watch needs to work on Yemen. And we did. We started working on Yemen. We opened an office in Yemen. And we were excited to see the revolution uh, in Yemen, uh, a, a peaceful revolution, a remarkable revolution that ousted a dictator uh, who had ruthlessly governed the country for many decades. It is a remarkable achievement today still, uh, for which Tawakkul has gotten obviously great recognition, but all of the Yemeni people deserve support and recognition for what they managed to do at tremendous risk to their lives, to their survival, uh, uh, to create a new future for the country. And I think it speaks to the depth of Yemeni civil society across the country that they were able to come together uh, to pull off this revolution peacefully, to establish a national dialogue process, to establish the direction that they wanted their country to go in. Unfortunately, that process was upended with this war, um, with the interference of foreign states, uh, whose argument uh, with Yemen has really little to do with Yemen and more to do with regional competition, regional control, regional influence. These are not the priorities of the Yemeni people, nor should they be ours. Uh, I hope um, that you will uh, uh, um, uh, really take advantage of this opportunity to hear from the Yemeni speakers uh, we have today, as well as experts, uh, academics, uh, uh, journalists, who have worked to disclose and discover uh, the abuses happening in their country, uh, but most importantly now, uh, working to ensure that the future direction of the country is centered on the rights of the Yemeni people, the freedom of the Yemeni people, and the right that the Yemeni people have uh, to democratic governance uh, of their country. Um, with that, I will introduce uh, Professor Adli, uh, who's a professor of anthropology and our partner here uh, uh, at Georgetown University. She chairs the Arab Studies Center at Georgetown University. Fida?